Okay, make sure it's recording and we got it. Okay, go ahead. I'm also doing a project with Wi-Fi Pineapple. My section was on SSL script, which uh, can be very nasty. Um, what it does is it watches the connection between the victim and the server for page requests that contain both secure and unsecure links. And at which point, it will transparently remove the HTTPS out of the link and replace it with a open, unencrypted HTTP. Uh, at that point, um, the SSL strip in the pineapple allows you to uh, capture the credentials that are sent in open text and then forward those on to the server and the server will communicate with the pineapple in a normal SSL session and the pineapple communicates with the victim in unencrypted HTTP. Um, what it does is it fools the victim uh, through some trickery by placing a little lock icon, a little favicon up at the top there to uh, kind of get people to not even notice that they're connected in an unsecure manner. For instance, is this real or fake? Real. And then, is this real or fake? Fake. Oh. I think she won't have an inside view, but can you tell really? I mean, there's not too much difference between those two. If you're not really paying attention, you wouldn't know. But the real PayPal has the P for PayPal, and you'll see the H or the S at the end of the HTTP. The fake one has a little lock as the favicon, and there is no HTT anything at the beginning. Um, so, who wants to play a victim for a minute? Do you have your wireless on? Just All right. Yeah, I was. All right. Should be seen. What's it called? Uh, pineapple map. Very clear what it is. Just ask him. FBI surveillance fan. Yeah. Oh, so I'm going to share and turn on SSL sphere. Connected. Okay, if you want, just go to like, I don't know, anything like PayPal or... Uh, no, Big come player. on. <laughs> or even Moodle. Moodle is really easy to Never see. Heard of that. Um, just go there and enter, you know, garbage credentials. Does it have to be an S it has to be a HTTPS site? Oh, anything like Moodle, uh, eBay, PayPal, Google. Uh, I'll go to PayPal. <laughs> and this is from my own testing here. Did this on my own time in yeah. my house. So at these sites, this is what you search for in the output, and you get you get the good stuff. <laughs> I'm at legit PayPal. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and enter like garbage credentials. Yeah, I'm at mine too. I don't know if I really right want to garbage do this. credentials. Go ahead, enter something in. Come on. Oh, just so put in like Marty Rubble and yeah. yeah. I, I did it already. You should oh. do that. No. Right. You're just the dance. auto refresh is off. Sorry about that. <laughs> Give it one second. Um, so this is stripping the the secure login. Information out of whatever yeah, else so was typed in. What, PayPal? <laughs> was it? Yeah, I did PayPal. PayPal. So we're gonna go. I left you a message. With, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I couldn't do PayPal. Sorry. You uh, have I, that one ready. <laughs> Somebody uh, picks so something off this list. list. Pick okay. Facebook. These are the ones I did Facebook. Have, I figured that would be one you could Facebook? pick. Facebook. Right. I'm doing Amazon. So we'll just do a control find here. That's not in there. Email equals. And it's Moodle. All right, it's refreshing. Stupid <laughs> auto refresh. That's fine. <laughs> Email equals. Herbert <laughs> Derp and password Herp is. Derp Derp. Butts. <laughs> so I mean, it's very clear. And, I'm so glad uh, you restrained yourself. I know, right? <laughs> like at my house, here's one from Amazon. You can see very clearly the email is right there, the password is right there. <laughs> Moodle, it just, it actually, Moodle, the only thing it spits back is the password and username. <laughs> um, Facebook, wow. Google, it's all really simple to capture. So, uh, getting back to the presentation. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, how to defend against this? Number one, foremost thing, be aware of the web pages that you're surfing on. You just always pay attention to the links. If you see something that looks even a little bit out of place, be wary. Another thing you can do is to manually type in, uh, as Steve said, the HTTPS. Uh, if you put that in manually, the pineapple cannot get your info. 
Um, there are also browser extensions that force the use of HTTPS available for all different browsers. And uh, the way to defend against these things in particular, don't use open Wi-Fi spots. And if you do, and you're on a 172 address, turn off your Wi-Fi because you're on a pineapple. Or use a VPN if you're on public. Well, I still wouldn't go through it. Another way is to make excruciatingly painful laws so that nobody ever attempts it in the first yeah. place. So, but, uh, that's, uh, right? That works. Pretty much that. That works. Any questions? Well done. Can you add that? Yeah. 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 You just use like a template that was already out there. What do you mean? Like how you were mapping, like when you go to Amazon.com and how it was coming up and you were swiping this stuff? Oh, for that? No, that, that just pops up in the uh, output there. Okay. Yeah. But did you have to make like a dummy Amazon page? No. No. Okay. no just what it does is, is uh, the Okay. The victim goes through the pineapple, in my wired internet, out my wireless to you know the real network, and then I kind of act on their behalf as a man in the middle and go to the real web page. At which point they use their credentials, they can continue on the website and continue shopping, do whatever they want. They don't know the difference except for a significant lag time in page loading. So it's pretty sneaky. Nicely done. Now you guys.